As we all know, Alexander Povetkin failed his second drug test this year, just last week. And since that time, there have been some very interesting comments made by both Berman Stavern, who was the guy that was originally scheduled to face Povetkin last weekend, and now by Johan Duopa, the guy who actually did end up facing Povetkin last weekend. I'm going to start by quoting Berman Stavern first. He said, I was shocked when I heard the news, but when I arrived back home, I thought about how it all played out and I added two plus two, it all came together. Beginning Tuesday, they told me they have a replacement if I pull out of the fight and they kept saying it throughout the week. I actually thought it was something just to distract me, but they seemed to know about it all week. Then on Saturday morning after breakfast, I went to my room to lay down and get some rest. That was when I got word of what happened, so I called everyone on my team to my room and got done on the phone. Then Mauricio Suleiman called, apologising profusely and told me it was my decision but they will no longer be sanctioning the fight because our number one priority is safety. That was all I need to hear. The only reason I came over here was to fight for the title. They tried to talk to me, they spoke about how I failed the test but I told them that is two different things. Mine was a five hour energy and he was shooting up. So we got online and got an earlier flight so we could get out of Ektarenburg right away. There were people following us since the moment we arrived. It's hard to explain, but it's like we were in a movie. So we discreetly left the hotel and made it to the airport. We got a 5 p.m. ticket to Moscow, landed there at 7 p.m., then waited 18 hours there for our original flight to the USA. We felt safe in Moscow, we just needed to get out of Ekaterinburg. While we were at the airport, I hear that Povetkin is fighting a French guy. Sorry, while we were at the airport, I hear that Povetkin is fighting a French guy. They knew all along he was going to test positive. I now leave the matter to Don King and Mr. Suleiman. So those are the words of Burma Stavern. Now let me quote Johan Duopa. This was from his Facebook page. This is what he had to say about the situation. And this is translated from French <laughs> using the, whatever it is, Google Translate, I guess it would be. So grammatically, it's pretty terrible. <laughs> so you'll have to bear with me when I'm reading this out. But this is essentially the gist of what Mr. Johan Duopa had to say about the situation. He says, some will take me for a fool, but I think my life is made so. I'm in Russia to attend the world championship WBC heavyweight opponent Povetkin has Stavern. Povetkin controlled positive, the fight is cancelled. The Russians made me come in replacement because they had a doubt about the fact that the fight is done. I came here just to watch the fight without doubt me for a second that this could happen. Bingo, they asked me to replace the Canadian for a fight without a title in game. I've been thinking about it and then I say that nothing happens by chance and that it is my destiny. I'm not in the beginning of career. I don't get developer who will provide me a bridge of gold for that I could get a career to my age. I've always done my career without TV, without major aid except from friends who we helped me drag me more seriously. I'm not doing my Molina. I don't lay me down. Never fear. I'm not going to start on this ring and to give everything away I have nothing to lose and it won't be my last fight we my nicknamed the Rocky French and I'll show them that this nickname is not just a word victory or defeat I won't have to blush because I never sleep I'm a fighter and a fighter it boxing thanks to all so <laughs> I did tell you people that Grammatically, it's terrible because it is with Google Translate or whatever they use on Facebook. But essentially, what Johan Duopa seemed to be saying there is the same as what Burmis de Verne was saying. Duopa seems to insinuate and believe that Povetkin's team had foreknowledge of this failed test, that they knew he was going to fail before he actually failed. That seems to be what. Duopa is insinuating there. Now I'm going to leave my opinion out of this particular video and leave it up to you guys. I've given you the direct quotes you can see on screen. 
the quote from Johan Duopa. So you can make of it what you will. Yeah? I'll leave it up to you guys. Let me know what you think about this. Is Povetkin and his team a bunch of crooks? <laughs> or is something else going on here? Why is it that both Duopa and Berman Stavern are highly suspicious of Povetkin? Sour grapes on their part? Or do they have reason to be suspicious? Let me know in the comment section. It's your boy Hatman. I'm out.